Hi, this is Patrick Sullivan, and welcome to Recurring Insight, which is admittedly not a great name for a video series that hasn't recurred yet, but hopefully we get there. Uh, if you've ever turned into any of the SCG broadcasts, when we take questions from the audience, or if you read my column, Sullivan Satchel over at Star City Games, uh, you know that one of the questions that I get asked most frequently is stuff about game design, and particularly my thoughts on individual cards. So we thought it'd be cool to start a video series called Recurring Insight, where I would unpack a design from over Magic's history. Uh, power level or not, just more speaking to the design sensibilities in the card. And for this video series, we're gonna start off with Giant Growth, which is an innocuous staple, but there's a lot of incredible game design principles baked into that card. So the reason that I wanted to choose Giant Growth as the first card to talk about in this series is it's a really simple, iconic card that represents a lot of the best of Magic design and play for a variety of reasons. Many of my colleagues in the industry would point to Giant Growth as the single best Magic design full stop, and I don't know if I would go that far necessarily, but it would be on my short list. I, I can't imagine it falling outside of the top 10 for a couple of reasons. Top of the list is that it's really evocative, both sort of of the flavor of it and the mechanics of Magic, even if you're not familiar with Magic's game engine. It's it's simple enough that it actually communicates rules of the game to someone who is playing for the first time or, or isn't that familiar. And even the, the name and the artwork and the plain words that are in the text box. Uh, so not only is Giant Growth just kind of mechanically simple, it actually does a lot to communicate sort of the baseline rules of the game and also the flavor of the game. Uh, second, it, it actually holds up and there aren't a whole lot of cards you can say that about uh, in Alpha. Uh, the set is celebrated for, for good reason. It's so far ahead of its time, but there aren't a whole lot of cards that you can point to in the set that hold up in 2020 sensibilities. Most of the creatures are significantly underpowered. If you reprinted them, they would not even make the cut in a lot of your booster draft decks. And a lot of the other cards, the spells are inappropriate for other reasons. Some of them are too weak. Some of them are really outliers in the other direction in terms of power level. And then there's some that are kind of in the middle of that, but they have problematic play patterns, particularly the single card soft locks like Winter Orb and Stasis and Island Sanctuary. They're just not appropriate by 2020 design sensibilities. Giant Growth holds up. If you made it standard legal in perpetuity, it would show up a little bit in standard play, uh, not a ton, but a, a little bit, and it would mostly do very good work for decks and play patterns that are good to promote. And lastly, it does represent, I think, a lot of what is the best about Magic's gameplay, which is a game of deduction based on incomplete information with no verbal cues. If I'm playing a game against someone and I've got a green mana up and cards in my hand, and we're engaging in combat or they're trying to time a removal spell, Giant Growth is on my opponent's mind or a card similar to Giant Growth, even if they don't know it's in my deck. And a lot of what makes Magic fun is when you've got mana up and cards in your hand, I have a sense of what's going on, but not really full information. I think that's part of what makes Commander really appealing too, is that that uncertainty about what's going on in my opponent's hand is even more dramatic in a non-competitive setting and, and in a Highlander setting. And Giant Growth does that to a T. I mean, it, it, it is sort of the foundational card for a lot of that baseline magic play pattern of and, and, and sort of playing around pump spells and trying to think about combat and think about removal spells inside of that framework. That was Giant Growth. And and this is Recurring Insight. A couple steps you can take from here. One, if you're not subscribed already, head over to the Star City Games YouTube page and subscribe. That way you can get notified when new videos such as this series are uploaded to the page. Uh, second, go ahead and throw a like up here if you enjoyed this. Uh, it chooses the numbers and, and Cedric's really into those you know, online metrics and so forth. Lastly, if there's any card that you want me to talk about, just leave a comment up on the page and your card might be up next. Again, thank you for tuning in and thank you to Star City Games for hosting this video series.